Welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about the biggest noob habit for C and C++ beginners. And this noob habit is not using the tools that you can use. So in most programming languages, there are tools like Lintras that will continuously check your code based on some predefined checks. If you have some issues regarding, I don't know, string conversion, um, implicit conversion between different integer types and so on. And in C, C++, there are also these static linters like um, Clang Tidy, but also there are compiler warnings. So whenever you start the compilation of your source code, the, if you have compiler warnings activated, they will also check your code. And these are shipped by default with every compiler. So you don't have to install another tool and hence you always and hence you should always have these compiler warnings active so here i have prepared a little example it's my bachelor thesis from like five to six years ago where i was also not that a that good of a programmer let's say and if i wouldn't uh, have enabled these warnings i wouldn't see what potential issues uh, my code base have so if i would just compile it with warnings disabled so here i've just said okay my compiler should shouldn't have any warnings um, enabled yeah my code would compile without an issue however if i now would activate these warnings here and you could also set that every warning is treated as an error for example so uh, you have to remove or let's say fix every warning uh, to yeah compile your executable successfully so we could also set this to active and uh, in a moment, I will also talk a bit about Clang Tidy. So, okay, now you see this uh, CMake lists file and you, you maybe don't know what this is. It's just a tool to tell the compiler what to do. I mean, in general, every compiler has some flags you can pass in. And for example, to enable some warnings, I've prepared here a little list. Here, for example, I have a list for warnings for the Microsoft MSVC compiler and here a list of warnings for the Clang and GCC compiler, for example. So there are some set of warnings. So for example, W all, W extra and W pedantic uh, are just a set or a collection of different warnings. And in addition to these, I've also activated here some more warnings that will just check for common mistakes, let's say. Yeah, but only or always when we start the compilation, yeah. So let me reconfigure our project with these warnings activated and let me rerun the compilation. And now we will see that my code base has a lot, a lot of implicit conversions, for example. So here we see we have 187 warnings issued by the compiler. Without activating these uh, warnings, we would expect, okay, our code compiles and everything is fine. But if, if a program in C, C++ compiles, it doesn't really tell you about if everything is correct. Yeah, it's not Rust, <laughs> unfortunately. So for example, here uh, we would have some unused variables, which I know it's not it's not a breaking issue, but why should we have unused variables in our code base? And these compiler warnings will just say, hey, you have an un unused variable, please remove this. Why, why are you declaring this at all? So let me remove this line. Then we have some unused um, parameters here in a function. So why does the function have this parameter at all if it's not used? So it's just stupid. Yeah, so compiler warnings will find stupid errors. They won't find really logical errors, let's say, but more, more basic issues, let's say. So for example here, and this is what uh, most programmers will have uh, if they are beginners, let's say, they ha will have implicit conversions from one integer type to another integer type. So for example, from a bigger integer type uh, to a, a smaller integer type. And if you have a really, really large value, uh, this values may be too large to fit into this smaller data type, for example. And unfortunately in C, C++, these implicit conversions are allowed. For example, in uh, Rust, these are not allowed. And there you have to be explicit. I mean, here we should always uh, remove these implicit conversions and if this conversion is intended then we should do a static cast for example so a c++ cast or for example here i've added a const qualifier to the return type of a function which makes no sense in c c++ because uh, it wouldn't change anything in our code base so const 
uh, return types do not make any sense. So regarding just regular types here. So I could remove this, for example. And yeah, these compiler wa warnings would find many, many more issues in your code base. Um, for example, if you are working also with, with strings, there might be some issues uh, regarding uh, going out of bounds, for example, or in general working with arrays going out of bounds. And as I said at the beginning of the video, in addition to these compiler warnings, you could also use tools like Clang Tidy, which is a static linter and static linters can be run anytime. So not only when compilation is running. Uh, and yeah, this would be an extra tool that you may need to install on your system. However, here in my case, I've already installed it and I prepared here a little example in my CMake project to run Clang Tidy on my code base and Clang Tidy will have more sophisticated checks. So uh, Clang Tidy is more able to find also logical errors to a certain extent at least. Uh, but to make it short, Clang Tidy is much smarter than these compiler warnings, let's say. And as you can see here, here's a list of all um, Clang Tidy warnings that I have activated. And now we can see we have 820 issues in total. So it was about uh, 180 from compiler warnings and the others uh, from Clang Tidy. Yeah, some uh, warnings you might um, be also in the compiler warnings list and also in the Clang Tidy list, for example. So for example, here I would see that I have used in my C++ code this uh, null define from C. However, as a C++ programmer, we should always use this null pointer um, special value because this cannot be uh, treated like an integer, like the standard null defined from C, which may lead to issues in uh, function overloading, for example. Uh, then here's a CPP core guideline that you shouldn't use a pointer ar arithmetic, so shifting pointers by some values. I mean, in general, we shouldn't use a C style arrays at all in C++ code. Uh, here, once again, we have some nulls instead of null pointers. Here we get a warning about a narrowing conversion from unsigned int to int because these have different uh, data ranges. So there might be some issues, of, as I said, from going from a bigger data type to a smaller data type or to, to a smaller data range, let's say, and so on. So you should always at least have compiler warnings activated. And if you want to be really try hard, you should only uh, also use tools like Clang Tidy to improve yourself because now we would get direct feedback from the compiler or from Clang Tidy instead of waiting uh, one or two weeks to get a grade from your tutor uh, at university or something like that. And then uh, the tutor just says, oh, your code is written really poorly. But here we get direct feedback and can directly uh, adapt our code to become a better programmer because now I would see, okay, implicit conversions are bad. I should avoid implicit conversions. And if I write the next program, I have this already in my mind and then I'm already a better C, C++ programmer. So that's everything I wanted to talk about today. Then check out the video description if you want to learn more about Python and C++, for example. There I have a link to all of my Udemy courses on a big sale only for you. And then we will see us in the next video. Bye bye.